what's up youtube pictures by schoolboy back again and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to color grade using gradient map now gradient map is a tool which can help you get the amazing or the perfect skin tones for your images using the colors on the skin so you are going to use the highlighted colors of the skin the shadowy colors of their skin and their mid-tones too and then you are going to merge them together to create the amazing skin tones for your images so it's basically going to make your skin tone look very seamless and very natural and that is what we are going to do in today's video so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to be the first to see anytime i drop a new video and if you are a returning subscriber, I say a very big thank you. So let's start with the image. So I've already color graded this image. Oh, sorry, I've already retouched this image. I've retouched the skin and make sure it looks normal and nice for this tutorial. So we are just going to jump on to the color grading. So the first thing you are going to do is to select gradient map. Now, before you select gradient map, Make sure your foreground color is black and your background color is white because we are going to use the foreground and background colors in this tutorial. So make sure your foreground color is black and your background color is white. So the next thing we are going to do is to select gradient map. Now that gradient map is selected, make sure you select this layer thumbnail right here. Make sure you don't select this layer mask. This is the layer mask thumbnail. And this is the layer thumbnail so make sure you select the layer thumbnail and then you turn the layer off so when you turn the layer off then you click on this you know gradient color so it's time to you know select the colors on the skin to create the filter for the skin tones so the next thing that we are going to do is to select this black portion as you can see this part of the gradient is black and this part of the gradient is white so these are the shadows and these are the highlights so we are going to select the colors that we want for the shadows and then we are going to select the colors that we want for the highlights when we are done we are going to create the mid-tones which lies in between the highlights and the shadows and then we are going to select the color for the mid-tones as well so you click on this right here and then the color will pop up and then you click on the color so you zoom in into the image and then you make sure you select the shadowy part of the image the part of the image or the part of the skin which contains shadows so you select in this image i think around her neck here is the part or around here is the part which contains the shadows as you can see there are more shadows in her neck area than this part so based on your image then you decide which part that you would like to select but with this tutorial i like to select this part of the image since it contains much you know shadows and then you click ok so the next thing that we are going to do is to click on this white arrow right here color stop right here you click on it and then you click on color and then we are going to select a color from a highlighted area of the skin so as you can see there are highlights here there are highlights on the forehead and um, there's a little highlight on the chin and lips as well make sure you don't go for all white like this make sure you go with the skin the highlighted part of the skin because the color grading is made we are going to make the color grading in such a way that it's going to complement the skin so make sure any selection that you make any color selection that you make is based off the skin so i think right about here is nice for the highlighted area or we can go here either here or here so i think here is fine so we are going to select ok and now the next thing that we are going to do is to create the mid tones so we are basically going to click right here to create a new color stop and then when we are done creating the new color stop make sure the location is 50 
50 lights exactly in the middle so make sure the location is 50 so that it lies perfectly between the highlight and the shadows so the next thing that we are going to do is to choose the colors for the midtones as well and with the midtones we are not going to choose the colors from the highlights or the shadows part of the area we are going to select the color from a more even area you know an area which contains even colors on the skin so that's basically what we are going to do so with the midtones i think i'm going to select this part of the area or this part of the area so i'm going to go with this part of the area and um, i think it's all right this way so now as you can see we are done with our gradient and it looks it looks pretty nice as you can see the transition from the shadows to the highlight is very even and very subtle all right then we click ok so the next thing that we are going to do is to turn on back our layer and this is how the filter looks this is how the filter looks all right so the next thing to do is to change the blend mode of the gradient map to let's say soft light or hard light depending on how much you want the filter to take an impact on the image so with this color grade i'm going to select the soft light and then i'm going to bring down the opacity to around 60 or 70 percent so this is 70% and let's look at how 70% looks. So here is the before and here is the after. Before and after. So as you can see, this color grade complements the skin very well and it makes the skin looks more nice and very even. You know, as you can see, it's, the colors look the same from her face to her neck to her palm and the entire image looks amazing. So here is a quick before and after. If you don't want this on the background of the image or on the clothes, you can mask it out and clean it and leave the filter only on her skin. But I think it complements this image very well. So I'm going to leave it on the entire image. So here is a quick before and after again. And as you can see, it looks amazing. So I think I'm going to leave it at 70 and then I'm going to create another gradient maps to, you know, add more colors. Today we are going to color grade with only gradient map. That's the main motive of this video. So you select here and then you go to gradient maps again. And then this time around, we are going to select colors for the shadows. So let me turn this off. We are going to select colors for only the shadows so as we all know the black stands for the shadows and the white stands for the highlight we want this colors that we are going to select to affect only the shadows so we are going to click right above here the top colors start uh, color stop we are going to click on this one and then we are going to bring down the opacity to zero percent as you can see at this moment let me leave it on 100 percent and select the color for our um for our shadows before we bring down the opacity of the highlight so i think i'm going to do a little bit of yellowish or goldish color since she has more oranges and reds in her skin i think it would be nice to add colors like this to complement the skin tones as well so i think right about here is fine so what we are going to do now is to select is to select this one and then bring down the opacity to zero percent if we want this to increase we can you know we can bring the slider right here to increase you know the intensity of this color so we are going to click ok and we are going to turn it on so right now as you can see this is how it looks and it applies only to you know only to the hard only to the shadows of the image we've turned down um, the highlights as well so the next thing that i'm going to do is to change the blend mode and bring the blend mode to soft light so here is how it looks before and after before and after and i'm going to go to the opacity right here 
and I'm going to bring down the opacity as well. But with this one, I'm going to drop down the opacity to let's say 25. So here is a before and after, as you can see, just a little before and after, before and after. All right, so we are basically done color grading this image. So let's put it in a group and then go back to the first gradient map and then play with various colors as well so as you can see we have our shadows our midtones and our highlights so if you want more of these colors to be in the shadows you can push the slider right above here and then it opens up the shadows a little bit but with this image i think it's nice to add a little bit more of shadows so i think the 50 percent location is the perfect location for this image so i'm just going to leave it right about there so here is a before and after and here is a before and after of the goldish color that we added to so before and after before and after so if you think the colors are a little too much for you you can keep on dialing down the entire opacity or you can desaturate your images before you start applying the gradient map since the gradient map tends to add more colors than you might actually need sometimes so if you don't know how to desaturate your images i'll try and you know make a tutorial based on that i just wanted this video to be about color grading with gradient maps and i think that's what we've basically done so here is another quick before and after before and after and it looks amazing so that will be the end of today's video if you did learn something from this video please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't turn on the post notification bell to get notified anytime i drop a new video and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out